Good morning, guys. I'm super excited today because today I'm getting a new part installed on this bad boy. And this one isn't anything aesthetic. It's more functional. But because it has something to do with the family, I am super excited about it. So shout outs to Decked and Matt for sending me my new truck vault system. You might be looking at this going, what is in this box that is so big that it needs to come on a pallet? Well, let me show you what you can do with the truck vault system. Do you know what it is? Yeah, you told me. I did? Yeah. Okay, let me test you. What is it? Uh, so it's gonna be like this case uh -huh. that they're gonna put in your truck. Yeah. And then this case has different compartments. So there's like different drawers and stuff for you to put all your pretend, um, like, I don't know, construction building. Construction thing. pretend. Oh. Hey, at first, at first I was like, hey, she's listening. She's been listening. Cool. Cause usually when I talk I about guy about stuff, it. she's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. she just tunes out. But you actually listen this time. Yeah. But then you start adding in weird I words like I construction and pretend. I couldn't think of words, all right? I woke up to get our son ready for school when someone was still in bed. You know what I mean? No, I'm talking about, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm talking about oh, adventure oh, gear, my shooting stuff, oh, camping right. stuff, yeah. vacation road trip stuff. All of that stuff That's can true. be Those extremely organized. Let me show you. Let me pull it up. All right, so this is the type of stuff that they have. Look, take a look. You see that? Mm -hmm. You see how organized it is? Everything is in a... Um, in a drawer like that and it pulls out and, it, <clears throat> and it's on rollers and it snaps in yep you see that look so that's like you can have fishing gear shooting gear overlanding gear surveying gear, gear yeah photography all kinds of stuff is that a dog kennel i think so yep zeddy it's a legit dog kennel look, look at that that's a dog. legit dog so it's a legit truck system and oh, every sick. one of these modular cases they're all um color coded so what makes it easy is you can get all those cases and just store them on your shelf. So you have your camping, you have your fishing. Oh, sick. And then so when you need to grab it, you go, grab out. the yellow. Oh, okay, all God. four yellow boxes. Oh, grab the red one. one. Get all the red boxes. Are you going to get a truck too? No, I mean, I just wanted to make a car. Because I, I was just telling you yesterday, I have no space. Oh, yeah. So you can get all that stored in here, and it's also weatherproof. Yep. So it could rain, it could do all that, and it only comes up to here, so you still have majority use of your bed. Yeah. Like if I were to buy a couch out of store or whatever. And uh, I was at the dealership, and while I was buying something else, Tyco was jumping up and down on it, and it was super strong. So I'm excited to get this bad boy. Dun, da, 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 and here. All right, so feast your eyes on this, ladies and gents. So yeah, they this sent guy. me Ooh, a just badass kidding. package. And we were trying to lift this bad boy onto the truck, but uh, Mabra hasn't been taking her protein, so she's not very strong right now, so she's very little help. So what we're deciding to do is just open it up and we'll put it piece by piece in the truck bed, but look at this. Wait, wait, what happened here? What? Talk oh. your shit again, talk your shit again. <laughs> Give me. Oh, I love marriage, so fun. Yeah. But look at this. Whoa. Ooh la la, bonjour. Look at that, see? all these color-coded pieces and they know that I'm, I'm about that tactical life so they gave me the tactical colors the, this is a sick color this is, this is huh yeah but yeah you can get red yellow blue all kinds of different colors black give me hats thank you so yeah these are, these are the systems and they have different configurations I got the one where it's the same size on each but if you have bigger stuff you can have one that's like this wide on one and narrower uh, on the other side, especially like uh, people that have big power tools, jigsaws, all that stuff. If you get this for work, then you can get it configured to what your needs are. Since I'm a pretender, then I'm gonna get even it out so I can put my random toys inside. Construction, baby. Oh, cool. Give me a cool bag, too. Cool t shirts. Oh, it's one of them for Taika. Because they know that I got a kid. 
So this is the big kahuna part. This goes on top. There's two of them, each on each side. It's grippy, super strong. This was uh, what Tyco was jumping on at the dealership, and I was like, sold. That thing is extremely strong, because I was stuck between two brands. And when I saw him jump on this, and it looked like he took it like nothing, I'm like, this is childproof, which is the ultimate test. Wow, you drank your protein. Duh. I'm on my way to installing the deck system right now. If you haven't even seen it get it installed, but you're like, you know what? I know this is for me. This will be perfect for my job, going outdoors. Go to the link below or go to decked.com. That's D E C K E D dot com. I've seen a custom build, I've seen two other competitors. And I have three buddies that have this exact decked system and hands down, it's the best. It is um, so weather tight, like it'll stay dry, all your gear will stay dry. It locks with the tailgate when it comes up so your stuff feels safe. Two of my buddies are law enforcement, so they keep their rifles, their um, tactical vests, all that stuff, all their gear on them all the time and they trust it because everything is secure and make sure you go check that out. I am so excited because storage is always a big issue with almost any vehicle, and especially the more adventures you go on, like if you go mountain biking, you might need a toolbox, or if you go snowboarding, you might need extra boots, extra tools, just every type of adventure or even job that you go on, you always need extra storage space. So to have something that's a modular system where you could bring out color-coded cases whenever you need is so, so, so helpful. Like if you've seen any of my past videos when I go shooting, I have steel targets, I have spray paints, I have glow sticks, I have all kinds of things I need to bring. And every single time that I'm going to go shooting, I'm like scrambling because I'm forgetting where all my stuff is and I have to empty out my car completely whereas now I can keep all of my shooting stuff uh, which I'll probably do another video of me organizing all my shooting stuff into those cases and I'll stack them on the shelf and now I know when I need to go boom bam 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 take these three or four cases and I'm ready to go and I'll get the other color coded cases for the other things you know so super super excited just dropped off the truck and I'll see the bad boy in a few hours. So if you guys watched yesterday's vlog, you saw that we finished putting our second coat on the podcast room. And this is what it looks like in the daytime. Looks really good, nice and even. I love that salmon, it pops. We put in this rug so everything ties in together. Seems really fun, close and personal, which is exactly what we want. And uh, so today I'm gonna go through my list and for those of you guys that are doing like bigger projects that require a lot of moving parts, I highly recommend making a list because that way you can look at things from a bird's eye view and you can zoom in a little bit, zoom in a little bit, and then that way you don't get caught up in the details because when you get too micro too fast, it's very, very easy to get caught up in things. And then when you're like, you know, tunnel vision, you miss out on a lot of big things. So for us, uh, this list that I have is Yesterday, paint the salmon shell, uh, the salmon color. Today is gonna be shelves and accent lighting. So yes, I have accent lighting in some of them, but some of them I don't have it put in yet. And we haven't added the accent lighting in Modburst shelves yet. So the goal is to make these pastel colors pop on camera too. So we do have uh, the lights that I got from Ikea. We're gonna test those out. And the Modburst found these strip lights that have more of a diffused look, so that might look better. And then that'll be done today. We already jumped steps, we finished the rug, the mantle, which is the chimney, will be coming tomorrow. And we pretty much have a list of from chairs to mount the soundproofing. Even though the sound is already good in here, but we could probably still treat the ceilings, treat the walls, so it really sounds like a vocal recording studio. And then set up the actual cameras and the lighting, wrap the final decor, and then Justin, our photographer from Barbell, will be in town, and he's been helping me out a lot because he knows a great deal about photography and lighting. So he'll help me out with all of that, and within the next five or six days or so, I think at least the physical set will be done. Then we'll need to get our uh, logo created and then get a sign made. So there's still additional steps, but 
I just want to make sure we go in order because there's so many little things, right? Like for example, I can't put this shelf in its permanent location until the wall's done. Well, I can't, the wall's not going to be done if it's not painted. And I can't paint it until the wallpaper goes up. And I couldn't put the wallpaper up until we took off the shelves that Gio didn't want anymore. So there's a lot of like what I call prep before the prep. And without listing them out, sometimes you'll jump steps and things get messed up. But today's main thing is accent lighting and shelving. Mama? Are you excited about some shit? You have a face. <laughs> What's the face? You're excited about some shit. Because you're like... A little bit. So I finished um, like 90% of my set side. Yeah. And I just want to show you, I want to see um, what you think and if you know where all these pieces came from. Okay? You're going to run into something. I'll wait. I'm not. I'll, walk I'll go by. around the corner. No, 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 no. No way, Jose. <sighs> wow, that wall. Whoa, that looks really cool. Really? You think it looks good? Yeah. That looks really cool. Thank you, Mama. Yeah. Do you know what all these pieces mean? Yeah. What 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 does the backpack mean? Tell me. Well, I mean, it's your backpack, so you enjoy adventure, you enjoy the outdoors, and you say you've had it for twenty years. Yeah, I had it with me in the Boy Scouts since I was like ten or eleven. So what that the being... fuck? You your scrawny ass carried this backpack? Yeah. That's why I'm such a stud. I feel like this is your size. I know. My scrawny ass carried that thing, and I had it for 20, 25 years. Okay. And then uh, moving over to the movies. Of course, Bloodsport is a movie. I thought you wanted me to answer. Okay, fine. What's Bloodsport? What's the game? What, what's the game? Okay, what the game doing? is you give me a kiss. Oh. You're losing. You're losing. No. Nope. Give me a kiss. Okay. Ah, ha, 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 ha. So the game is you have to guess what all these pieces mean. Okay, let's move on to Bloodsport. We made a kid together, dummy. Okay, so what does that ha, mean? Ha, 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 that I lost. Fuck. Anyway, what? What does the boogie board mean? Wait, what did you say? The blood sport, you big dumbass. That's your favorite movie, you big dummy. Yes, yeah, the movie I grew up on. Yeah. Quit scuffing the wall with your hard-ass heels. Excuse me? Can you stop zooming in my <laughs> face? I hate you. Okay, fine. What about Step Brothers? That's your favorite movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Yeah. But you know why I like it? Because obviously this is my childhood wall. Shut up, you curly-headed fuck. <laughs> and the reason why I like it is because I feel like how they became friends was how I became friends. So that represents like me and my childhood friends. Like when you connect over the dumbest things. Okay. What about that that one? I mean, it's Bruce Lee who literally influenced every single Asian kid growing up and was so fucking badass. And I'm talking about growing up like in the 70s, 80s. Uh, that then trickled into the 90s, but then was so badass, he fucking influenced all of America. So legendary. Yep, all Bruce the black Lee. kids this too. Is why, yeah, all the, like all the Americans. Even Conor McGregor, Anderson Silva, they all oh. love Bruce. Yeah, you could clearly tell so where the everyone. style's from. Yep. Yeah, so that's why I got you this figurine. Thank you. Um, You could swap out his faces. I don't know what Tyga did with it, but there's different faces where he's like, Wah! Yeah, I like that face. That's why I put that one on. What, this one? Yeah, because he's calm. Oh, I see. He's like, slow down, I'm about to fuck you up. What about these trophies? I don't know. How come you took these off? No, it just fell off because of age. Look at the, look at, this from 93. You're all fourth place, you loser. That one I'm the most proud of. That The one to the left of it, I'm actually first place. This is why we're soulmates. Why? Because I have a trophy too. But I earned my fourth. What about yours? Was yours a consolation prize? What the fuck? Yeah. I mean... Why are you talking so much shit? I'm not. I earned it too. I was in a fucking tournament. That, that's how we're soulmates. Got yeah. Your back. Look, handball tournament. <laughs> oh yeah, handball. 94. <laughs> I'll crush your ass. <laughs> this is 93. This is 94. Oh, Kenny. We were meant to be, babe. The reason why I'm so proud of that fourth place one, even more than the first place, the first place trophy I got as a green belt, the fourth place trophy, I was a uh, red belt in a black belt competition. And red is below. And I beat all the black belts enough to still get fourth so, wow. so the other three that beat me were all supposed to beat me those guys must have really sucked no they must have really sucked what about next next one I mean duh this is the shit your mom would tape up all the time yep. I don't even know why it's here I think this is you going I oh wish. that's a great idea I should tape it up <laughs> hell yeah I'll tape it up the way my mom taped you it up should. that'd be so funny what kind of tape did she use uh, so she had um, 
So she worked at like a big, uh, you know, those companies with those printers that have the dots on the side, like when you print the paper out. Oh you yeah, to, and then you have to rip it off. Yeah, yeah. So she Damn, used that paper. Old. She had that paper where on the back side it was like white and green. Do you remember that old school paper? Mm-hmm. Okay, so use that, and then she would just use like regular like clear tape that was like this thick. But that's so funny. I should definitely do that. Yeah, what, maybe peek a little bit. What I about? I mean, these are just all of our vlog cameras from yeah. our vlog graveyard. Yeah. What about the? What is that down there? This one, I have no idea. It's a snare drum for a drum line. No idea. Drum line was a huge part of my life. You play drums? I'm a very percussive person. Can you fucking stop zooming into my face? What? Yeah, and the boogie board is because you boogie boarded. You boogie <laughs> That's boarded. it? I mean... I boogie boarded a lot. A lot. A lot. Like that was the... Lot. So, that was probably the only bonding thing I did with my mom. She boogie boarded too? <laughs> no, I wish. <laughs> no, but um, uh, growing up, that was the one. Like, my mom hated all kinds of fun and all kinds of play. But if it was... Well, her fun and play is different than your fun and play. Yeah, she it's... has fun, but in the mountain by herself with nothing on, yes. carrying fucking pails of water on her back. She's like, this is fucking fun. Yeah. But we find it boring. Yeah, so for her, uh, as long as it was exercise or it was good with nature... She's down. So me going to the beach and taking my glasses off and resting my eyes for an hour or two looking at the ocean, she enjoyed it. So during the summer, she would take me probably like three or four times a week to the ocean and I'm just boogie boarding like crazy and she's just there freezing her ass off on the beach. But I would go, did you see this? Did you see that? Did you see what I did over there? Did you see what I did over there? And that was like the only bonding experience I had with her. That was kind of fun. It's kind of sweet but very sad. I how, see you zooming in all the time. How about your <laughs> side? Where's your side at? Oh, fuck. I'm not even done. So this is just bullshit that I like. Yeah. I haven't even... Mine's bullshit, too. Yeah, I haven't even... Okay, so um, I got this because I love Daft Punk, and I thought it was a really creative way of what they did with the vinyl. Yeah. So I love Daft Punk. Yeah. Y'all already know I love my gummy bears, so I had to have it here. I have this Hello Kitty thing I've had since, like, maybe middle school, and it's still intact, so I'm like, I have to say it, and all the... Hello Kitty shit that I have. Um, I don't know, Mexican. Yep. Dia de los Muertos. More um, Daft Punk shot glasses. You just love Daft Punk, huh? I don't drink. I just love music. And then here I have like a shit ton of CDs that I'm going to put. Yeah. Um, so oh, those you got to clean, by the way. I was just in the garage. They're dusty. Probably. You got to clean them before yeah. you can bring them in the house. Um. So yeah, that'll all go here. Um. Zodiac sign. Taika Zodiac sign. Yeah. I... Like this artist back in the day, so I bought like their stuff that I'm gonna display. Um, God, I'm not even close to finished, but yeah. And we got Briggy down Our there. Our friend went to Portugal, made this handmade for Taika. Love Tetris. I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Unholy thoughts. I'm trying to do more of a monochromatic scheme yeah. per cubby. Yeah. So I'm looking for very specific colors because then all my pink stuff will go in the pinks and then all the orange stuff will go in the orange, yellow with yellow. You guys get the picture. Yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of... I've had this since high school. Damn. Yeah, this is hella old. Excuse probably co- you. Probably costs hella money. No, no, I was just saying that it, it's like a... Okay. Probably like an antique I know. Antique I know something. that's how you... That's still old. Anyway. Um, yeah, pictures that um, one of you guys actually drew and sent to us. Yeah. They were so beautiful that I finally get to put them up. This isn't the end all for me. It'll, these will go on the side, this will go in the middle. I have a bunch of pictures uh, that I need to frame up that's gonna like be a collage because that's how I had my wall. I had my wall filled up with all these like pictures of like bands. I'm a big fan of music, of like bands and just super inspirational people all over my wall where you couldn't even Excuse me, where you couldn't even see the wall anymore. So I'm going to try to do something like that in this middle section. And that's kind of it. But I got to find more bullshit because I really want to fill these things up. I'm not much of a collector. I don't really keep too many things. I'm not a pack rat like that guy. But this looks really nice. But it looks cool, huh? Yeah, you did a great job. And the only piece that's not really from me is, uh, or from that era, is that board. Because I was looking up the brands that I really liked as a kid. And they were too big, so they don't fit in there. Mm. So this is actually not even a real size boogie board. It's like a mini kid size. Can you? Yeah. But it looks good in the whole thing. Or else the real board would be on the floor and it comes all the way up to here. So it's That's too big. That's cool too. It's too big. I've been loving all this activity that Taika does because his appetite has gotten way better. 
and he crushed his meal. Look at that. And every time he crushes his meal, of course, he gets the yummy ice cream. These and are cute, right? Yeah, those are awesome. How many calories are these? 150? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yes, yes, yes. That was for you, you monkey. Food? Yeah, he did. Show mama you finished. Good job, Monkey Doodle. That's a song Taiko made up. Yeah. Here we go. You're ridiculous, dude. It's delicious, huh? Hey, don't put on the put on the uh put in your bowl. There you go. What would I pay? What would you pay to have this amount of energy? <laughs> or you don't want it? Do you remember being this age and having this amount of energy? Were you just super anxious? I don't know about this amount of energy. This is pretty crazy. Really? You said you were like School and jujitsu, and it's about to be nine. <laughs> this was blowing air into a cup. I don't know. I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would want it. I don't know if I'd be like. Yes, give that to me now, or if I'd be like, oh, we'll wait. That is that I'm extra too. productive or too much? It might be like ADHD, like I'm like crawling my own skin because nothing's happening. Hey, aren't you supposed to be cleaning your toys? What is that dance called? Candy walk. <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> that was you, that was Papa in high school. What happened? Did you bite yourself? Go do the dance again, do the dance again. That was your hey. papa in high school. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was your dad. Now make your eyes go back like that. And now do it. Now do the dance. And make your eyes go back. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey.